Hey everyone, are we alive? Are we good to go? Are we good to go? Hey everyone, it's me Kyle Williams and welcome back to the haunted house. Today we are going full Halloween. We are back in the Halloween swing of things, in the scream of things. We are back in the Halloween of things. Okay, I'm a chill with the puns. Did y'all know it's Friday the 13th? Friday the 13th is a scary day for many reasons. Can I confess something real quick? As soon as I posted my Taco Bell video, my friend said to me, okay, but what are you doing for Friday the 13th? And I said, what? Friday the 13th? I freaked out because I realized I did not have a plan for Friday the 13th. I completely forgot about it. So she says to me, what are you doing for Friday the 13th? And it awakens something in me. Maybe a spirit, maybe a demon, I don't know. The world is going to catch up soon to Halloween, so I got to get back on the bus. So I was like, hmm, what should I do for Halloween? So I got my rotted corpse up out of the bed. I'm back on the haunted bus. I, I'm sorry, I just can't get over how awesome this looks. The haunted house looks beautiful today. In the background, you have our classic purple tree tapestry with the creepy cloth all across. It. I'm wearing a black long sleeve shirt. The most grand thing you can notice when you look at this, I think, is the red light. There is some brilliant red light coming on today. You're seeing my classic setup here with me in the background and the table, but there's this brilliant red it's illuminating everything in a red glow. It's cool. Here on the table, I pulled out all the stops. There's haunted everything. It's my regular black table, except the skeletal hands from the haul video are here. They're here on the table, adding a scary element. And then here we have some guests. So my first Halloween video I made, making haunt chocolate, there were two flavors, purple and green. I did not know that there was a third haunt chocolate flavor. Turns out they got a whole red situation as well, which is where I got the red light idea from. I was like, if I'm gonna drink some red hot chocolate, let me bring out the red light. The flavor is Moonlight Madness Blood Red Hot Chocolate. So I'm gonna be drinking some hot chocolate, but I thought what I would do is I'm gonna make it the way I make it, which is just unloading the packet into a dish and just putting a little bit of water and just eating the packet sort of like a dry mix with a little wetness, a dry wet mix. Oh. Dry wet mix just made me think of producing music and reverb and all. Ugh. I like music. So I'm going to be doing a little haunted hot chocolate for Friday the 13th. The last item on the table is a magazine. World's scariest places. I'm surprised they didn't do a special on my apartment building. I'm going to read some excerpts because it's Friday the 13th. So scariest places, scariest drinks. Let's get into it. Oh, I forgot to say the last thing on the table is the Sonoma State University mug and a fork to eat the hot chocolate with. I don't have a spoon. Hey, okay. I don't eat anything that requires a spoon anymore. Maybe I should buy a spoon. There is a little bit of water in the cup and it's hot, not boiling. So let's get started. Here we have Moonlight Madness Blood Red Hot Chocolate. So I learned the hard way that, or not the hard way, I learned from experience that the color slash title does not really affect the flavor. It's just hot chocolate, I think. I think it's just hot chocolate. It's just a different color and a little bit different ingredients. Okay, anyway, I'm just going to open this up and try it out. Oh, it really smells so good. Yes. Okay, time to put it in the cup. The hot chocolate box just fell on the floor. Luckily, there was nothing in it. <laughs> okay. Oh no, I spilled a little bit on the magazine on accident. Oh wow, it's already red. I'm just gonna scoop it up a little bit with a fork and sample it. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. This is the way to eat hot chocolate, honestly. Mmm. This is the way, Mandalorian. It's like a little bit liquid, a little bit powder. Delicious. All right, I'm just going to pour the rest in the cup and then I'll get to reading. Hmm. Now I need a little bit more water. I'll be right back. All right. Okay, this is immediately my favorite hot chocolate because it immediately turns red. You can't really see. You can see a little bit. I'm holding it up. It looks like blood. It's awesome. It's like a red, wet, powdery mess. It's so delicious. This would be a lot easier if I had a spoon, to be honest. Oh well. It gets to a certain point when there's not really much powder to pick up anymore, so you just gotta mix it in. Now I got a drink. Mm. That is really something special. I could finish all of it right now, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna save a little bit. Hmm, it smells good too. See, hot chocolate in a semi-solid form 
way better than just drinking hot chocolate. I'm living my truth. All right, y'all, it's time to dive into something else. World's scariest places, haunted, creepy, abandoned, chilling real life locations. I don't know if this is Halloween, but it's just scary. And Halloween is scary. So with a magazine by Centennial, oh my goodness. Right away, we get a visual of a friend. It is like a little doll with a skull face. What is she doing? There are so many in this. I'm not going to be able to get through each one. I'm just going to flip through it and look at some highlights. There we go. Now it's sitting on the table so it'll be easier to, to witness. Paris's Catacombs, the movie As Above, So Below. That's one of my favorite movies, honestly. That's all about the catacombs. My favorite part is like the last 30 minutes of that movie. Such a gorgeous experience. Oh, okay. Back to the matter at hand. At hand, skeletal hands. Wow. This is awful, actually. Sorry, not the magazine. This is a very gorgeously created magazine. Like the layout with the images and the text and everything, very well put together. But the content is so sad. I'm literally on the first story and we got people who are burned at the stake. Oh, Japan, my hometown. I was born in Japan, everyone. No one believes me. People just think I'm joking, but I'm being serious. I was born in Japan. She has exacted revenge by haunting the complex, wailing about the injustice she received. Oh. These people really went through it, these spirits. Ooh, here's a lighthouse. <laughs> Stanley Hudson up there in his lighthouse. The Castle of Good Hope in South Africa. Here's a quote from a castle staff member. There is definitely a presence. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing. That's the thing, with these kind of things, I don't not believe in it. I just have not had a ghost experience myself that I know. And so when I hear people talk about ghosts and stuff, I'm like, wow. But like, I don't have any proof that ghosts are not real. So maybe they are. Maybe we got some phantoms in here with us tonight. You know what I mean? Oh, here at Leap Castle in Ireland, bones from impaled prisoners litter in underground dungeon. See, I don't know about this. All love. I think this is a very well done magazine, but like this genre of entertainment, I don't know if this is for me actually. I really like Halloween, like the vibes and the colors and stuff, but I don't like murders, torturing, all this kind of stuff. I don't think these things should exist. Like it's true evil. Oh my goodness, the Winchester Mystery House. I have been to this actually. I went with my family years ago. It is this really cool building. It's a huge mansion, many floors. There's windows in the floors and doors that opening to nothing. Really cool stuff. Something like that is very interesting. I like that. Oh my goodness, a bridge in Scotland. Dogs keep jumping off the bridge. For what reason? Paul Owens says, I'm convinced it's a ghost that is behind all of this. Maybe it is. I don't have any evidence it's not, so maybe it is. In 2010, an animal behaviorist acknowledged the bridge had a strange feeling. Oh, in this village in Japan, the departed are replaced by life-size dolls. That could be a good way to cope with death. They're the work of an artist. She makes dolls for people. See, that's- I like that. I feel like that's a wholesome thing. And she says she'll probably live on forever. <laughs> How's the table doing? I just bumped the whole table again. I'm probably cursed to do that forever. Snake Island in Brazil. You can't visit this enclave, not that you'd want to. With these snakes, it will be a particularly painful death. You're going to die screaming. Thanks a lot, molecular biologist Brian Fry. I guess Brian Fry is probably not wrong. See, I just don't like that. I don't think that should exist on the planet. Like who made that? Why do we have poisonous snakes? Mm. As much as I'm complaining about humans and how evil humans are, this magazine is very beautifully set up and very well written. Oh, interesting. Villagers shun burials or cremations, letting the dead decompose in an open-air boneyard. The locals are proud to show off their decaying dead who are shaded by umbrellas. Hmm, that's an interesting way to go about it. Okay, actually, villagers ban women from the funeral ceremonies, believing they would invite a volcanic eruption or earthquake? Well... <laughs> Highgate Cemetery in England, a resting place for London's elite. Okay, those ghosts are snooty and rippy-pippy, probably. We're back to the Paris catacombs. Make a French connection with the dead. Just don't try exploring on your own. That's probably good advice. Well, that concludes our reading. All right, so I already lost all faith in humans. We really just do terrible things to each other for no reason. Oh, but I like this magazine and I like this hot chocolate and I like Halloween. After reading all that, now I need to go do something wholesome and funny. Well...
Happy Friday the 13th, everyone. All right, it's time for me to go. Thank you all for joining me here to celebrate Friday the 13th. Happy fun Halloween. Let's dress up as things, dim the lights, have a fun time. No murder, torture, none of that. Anyway, thank you for watching and happy Halloween. It's coming. I'm going to hit the camera with the magazine. Love you all. Thank you for watching. Be good to people. Be nice. Don't hurt people. I mean, that should be a given, but unfortunately it's not. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Love you all. See you next time. And happy Friday the 13th. Last sip. All right, y'all. See you next time.